the second year first semester you should have minimum of 20 credits out of 40 okay you should have 40 20 credits out of 40 credits this is about promotion from first year to second year so similarly from second year to third year you should gain 48 credits out of 80 out of 80 80 credits you have to gain 48 credits if you are not getting the minimum requirement of credits you will be detained for that particular year again you have to reappear for the examination and you have to get the sufficient number of credits that is about your third year and from third year to fourth year you must get, it, get 72, 72 credits out of 120 this is about your industry oriented uh, program and then you uh, have a seminar pro presentation and that is how the examination uh, promotion takes place uh, with regard to credits then Award of degree. Finally, you have gone through all the phases of examinations. Now it is matter of award of degree. That means it is if you are getting greater than 8 CGPA, if it is greater than 8 CGPA, you will be awarded as first class with distinction. Minimum you should attain 8 CGPA okay, without any lack of throughout your four years of study and and you have, you, there should not your attendance or detention, they should give you lack of credit, whatever. And this is about first class with distinction. And if your CGPA is greater than 7 and less than 8, you will be awarded as first class in engineering. And if your CGPA is in between 6 and 7, you will be awarded as second class engineer. And if your CGPA is 5, in between 5 and 6, Yeah,